Hello everyone! Today I am going to be talking about my least favorite eyeshadows in some of my eyeshadow palettes. So a little while ago I did a video talking about my favorite shades in some of my palettes, about 20 of them. I did this as a collab with Angelica Nikvist and uh, it was originally inspired by Lacey and Georgia and I believe Georgia has already done her least favorite. I saw some people recommending it in the comments of her video and quite a few people really wanted to see this in the comments of my video. People said please do the opposite of this. I'd love to know what shadows you don't gravitate towards, what shadows don't you like. So I thought this would be the perfect time to talk about some of those things. So I will be going through the palettes in the same order that I did in my favorite shades video. I feel like some of these things really won't surprise you if you've watched my channel for a little bit. Some of them might be a little surprising and I'll just explain why. So the first eyeshadow palette is the Modern Renaissance palette. And the shadow that is my least favorite in this palette is Buon Fresco. It just doesn't really fit in for me with the rest of this palette because this is a very warm palette. Buon Fresco is a cool shadow. It is a cool mauve matte and it just seems a little out of place. It's a good shadow. I like it on its own. I just don't like it within this palette. There's a couple of shades in here that I just, I don't use as much, but Bon Fresco is probably the first one that I'd get rid of if I was redesigning this palette, so that's the one I had to go with. I feel like in some cases, it's an eyeshadow that I truly, truly dislike something fierce, and sometimes it's just, you know, it's, it's a personal preference or it's something that I don't like with the rest of the palette. So for the Subculture palette, my least favorite shadow in here is the shade Fudge. So Fudge is a warm matte brown eyeshadow. I am just so, so picky with my matte brown eyeshadows. The Anastasia matte formula can be a little tricky sometimes. Definitely subculture can be a little bit tricky. And I just feel like Fudge just doesn't blend very well, not in this configuration anyway. So it, it was a little difficult choosing a least favorite shadow in this palette because there's some shadows that I don't use that often, like mercury but it's not a bad shadow it's not one that i would take out of this color story where i feel like i would replace fudge with something else some palettes i had a really really hard time picking a least favorite shadow it was like okay which one if i had to rank them in order would be at the bottom of the list and the ColourPop yes please palette so this is my repackaged yes please I had a really hard time with this one because I really like all the shades. If I had to pick one that would be my least favorite, it would be this one up in the corner here called Bling. Bling is a metallic rust. So generally, I really love shadows like this. I just feel like there's not a, a big separation between Bling and I can't remember the name of this shadow right now. I don't have the, the names written on the back of them. But there's two shadows that are fairly similar, only one has a little bit of like a gold reflect in it, which I much prefer. I just, that's one of my things when it comes to eyeshadow. Obviously with my favorites, I love a lot of gold and things that are rose gold and things that are peachy or orangey with a gold reflect, I'm crazy about. And so Bling is the one thing that I wish was a little bit different. Honestly, I would love a bronzy shade with this palette because there are some beautiful browns in here and I just feel like a deep, rich bronze would complement it so well and it would give some variation between the metallics in here. For the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, I knew my least favorite shade before I even opened the palette. It's the shade Cosmo, which is this pressed glitter shade right here. It's basically just glitter put into a pan. It is just not very functional at all in this kind of format. I feel like a really nice metallic red, even something with a lot of glitter in it, just something that just wasn't a pressed glitter. This is a shadow that's so disappointing because it's not even really a shadow. Um, you have to use it in a completely different way than you would use any of the other shades in this palette. So it just, it just doesn't seem to fit for me and it's something that I just, I really despise using. The Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix palette, I knew my least favorite shade with this one before I even looked at it as well and that is this shade called Echo. This is such a disappointing shadow and yes the quality has gone down over time because I've had this palette for a couple of years but it started out awful. So Echo is a violet 
blue with a little bit of silver glitter in there. It's just a patchy nightmare and I hate it. I think that blue purple shades with glitter are just awful, just like a lot of darker shades, which you will see a lot of. I just generally really despise dark shades that have sprinkling of glitter in it. I just find it so pointless. It just makes me so mad. Echo is such a beautiful color. I would love to have that shade from another brand just in a different formula and preferably like a matte shade. I think that would be really beautiful. For my pre-assembled MAC palette, this is the Times 15 Warm Neutrals. There's a couple of shades in here that I don't really reach for, but ultimately I went with this shade right here. This is another matte brown shade. This is Dance in the Dark. I just find this particular shade to be a little bit patchy and hard to blend and a little bit difficult to build up in pigmentation as well. I think the color is really nice. I just feel like it doesn't perform as well. and. Some of the MAC eyeshadows that I've used, the matte ones, can be sort of shadows that swatch poorly and they really need to build up, but that's what I really like. That's why I really enjoy using MAC eyeshadows because I feel like I can build up the intensity, I can work slowly with blending, but this one I always struggle with. I love the name so much. Names really influence me. It's hard to say that I don't like a shadow with such a pretty name, but I don't. I just, I just find it hard to work with. Next is my Morphe 3502 palette. This is gonna be a little bit repetitive at this point, but my least favorite shade is this one right here, which is called Muddy. It is a matte brown shade. I just don't like it. It really is a muddy brown. Every time I try and use it, I get so disappointed and I regret my decision immediately and cover it up with a different brown matte eyeshadow. For the Natasha Denona Tropic palette, this was another easy one for me. This green shade right here called Exotic. It's one of those shadows that swatches really well, but I can never get it to apply with that same intensity on my lid. I just can't press hard enough. It's disappointing because I really love green eyeshadows and I love green metallics, but Urban Decay has a metallic shade in one of their old Vice palettes that I really love that I talked about in my favorites video called Grasshopper and it's like the same sort of tone of green as Exotic. It just performed so much better. Like I love this palette overall. I want to take a second, just a quick second, because uh, Natasha Denona is going to be revealing the Safari palette soon, which is all matte shades in the Tropic palette formula and I'm so excited because these mattes are I love them. Like even the shade Coco, this brown matte shade is so good and I'm hoping for a lot of brown shadows in the Safari palette because these, these shadows are unbelievable. And I just need to take a second and talk about that because I have nobody in my life I can talk to about these makeup things and I'm ridiculously excited for that because I love that formula. Anyway, the Pat McGrath Levine Rose palette. This is another one that was a little bit difficult to choose a least favorite. There's also not many shadows in this palette, but I ultimately went with Paranormal, which is this matte plum shade right here. I find that deep purple eyeshadows of any formulation, whether it's a metallic, a shimmer, a satin, a matte, they often are patchy and don't apply that well. And I feel like Paranormal is one of those shadows that I can play with, I can build up, I can blend it out perfectly fine, but it's still has a little bit of a questionable thing to it. Like when you're first using it, it's like, I don't know if this is gonna turn out at all. I'm just gonna keep trying to blend it and eventually hope that everything turns out. And it, with this formula, it turns out for the better, but it's a little bit rough. I have a couple of Too Faced palettes. The first one is Chocolate Gold. I think my least favorite shadow from this palette will surprise a lot of people. It's actually the shade Chocolate Gold. And yes, Gold Eyeshadow Junkie here. I despise really yellow golds. I just hate the way that they look on me personally. I feel like some people with certain warmer skin tones look incredible with a good yellow gold. I hate it. I hate it. I love the way golds look 
on me otherwise I love gold with my blue eyes I love yellow eyeshadow but yellow gold it it is awful it is just terrible on me so I hate that that's such a big pan of shadow because I just know I will never ever end up using it unless I'm layering it or mixing it with other things this might be a good candidate for a Franken shadow sometime just to mix it in with something else because on its own yellow gold not for me for the semi-sweet chocolate bar I went with the shade hot fudge okay so Too Faced has this thing about putting shimmer and glitter in black eyeshadows I'm I'm not a fan I'm not a fan and this is a deep black brown eyeshadow with shimmer in it and I just don't have a purpose for it. I never use it. And just like with the Sweet Peach palette, there's a shade in here that is a black shade with glitter called Tempting. And why? This isn't tempting me at all. No, I've tried using this a few times and every time, no. I will use it maybe a little bit as like eyeliner or just to give like a tiny bit of definition to, to my lash line area so it's like faux liner but other than that anyway the urban decay electric palette can you guess what my least favorite shadow in this palette is this shadow right here revolt which is revolting this is a horrible silver eyeshadow. Urban Decay can do silver so well. I have proof from the Vice 2 palette. Shell Shock is just perfect. It is the perfect silver. What were they thinking with this shadow? I mean, if they put Shell Shock in here or that same formulation, it would have been a, such a winner. But this shadow is just so bad. The Heavy Metals palette. So we are into the Urban Decay land here. Uh, this shadow right here called ground it is a black metallic shade but not just like a nice metallic it just has a crap ton of glitter in it for the naked three palette this was a little bit difficult for me but i went with the shade buzz in here buzz is a rosy shimmer with a lot of glitter in it that just ends up being really powdery unless you use a ton of fix plus and again it's one of those shadows that swatches beautifully but i just can't get it to look good on my eye this was the hardest palette to pick a least favorite from because i really love everything about the naked heat palette but i ultimately went with the red metallic shade called dirty talk just because once again it is very similar to its neighboring shade this is scorched and scorched is just the shadow that i would reach for more out of the two of them i just feel like there's not a whole lot of difference but scorched is a little bit brighter while dirty talk uh is beautiful it's such a good shadow i hate talking bad about this palette at all because i really truly like it but even a yellow shadow could add a little bit of something different to this palette because sometimes i do find that some looks end up looking the same because the tones are so similar but the palette is just so good it's one of my absolute favorites from urban decay as a whole um the naked smoky palette so there's a lot of things that i don't like in this palette this palette i don't use much at all but i really dislike this shade called smolder here so this is a plum shade with a little bit of shimmer in it again I don't see the need for the shimmer in these darker shadows. They're not metallics, which would be cool, you know, to have like a, a swipe of interesting color. There's just a little bit of shimmer that makes it a little bit annoying, just so you can't really blend it out that well. And I don't know, I just don't like deepening the outer corner of my eye with a glittery or shimmery shade a lot of the time. I just really like a matte or even a satin, something that just doesn't have the sparkles in it like smolder does vice 2 my least favorite shadow in this palette is the shade lovesick it is a black with silver glitter vice 3 my least favorite shadow in this palette is the shade revolver black with glitter from the vice 4 palette my least favorite shadow is can you guess deadbeat which is a black with glitter and finally from Urban Decay, the Vice LTD Reloaded Palette. Are you ready for my least favorite shadow? It is Oil Slick, a black with silver glitter. Yeah, yeah, um, just in general, dark purples or blacks with glitter 
I hate. The last palette, again, I had a really hard time picking a least favorite from my Viseart palette. This is the Editorial Brights palette. I really like this palette. If I had to pick one shadow that I would replace with something else, it would be this shade right here, this purple shade, just because I feel like there's not a whole lot of difference there. If you have the straight up purple, you've got red, you can mix them together and get that shade. So I just feel like there could be something a little bit different. I don't, I don't even really know what I would replace it with because this palette is really versatile with the tones that it has. I just feel like this is the one, the one that I would either just eliminate or replace. All right, so that is everything for my least favorite eyeshadows. A lot of this I already knew from panning, uh, something that I've become very familiar with. Like when I was panning the Naked palette, the OG palette from Urban Decay, I really hated a lot of the dark shimmery shades, glittery shades. And it's something that I've learned over the last couple of years of panning eyeshadow, those kinds of shades I just don't reach for, I don't enjoy using. I would rather wear no eyeshadow than wear those shades, which tells me a lot. And it's helped me because I generally can avoid those things. Like I will look at a palette as a whole. And, and something like a Vice palette is a little bit different as well because there's so many shades in here that if one or two things I can count out as long as I can count in the rest, then it's still a pretty good deal for me. So this was a really fun exercise. I think I learned more from the shadows that I love not necessarily the shadows that I dislike, just because I've learned a lot of those lessons already, but it was still a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys didn't take any offense to this. If you happen to love any of the shadows that I talked about, this is just my personal preference. That's the thing with makeup, we all have different preferences. A lot of people hate gold eyeshadow and it's my favorite thing to wear, so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait, a lot of people were really mad that I didn't show complete swatches of all the shadows together, which I couldn't do. I tried to do it and then I just couldn't get it to work. But anyway, I'm gonna do my best to include a little bit of footage at the end here with the shadows that are my favorite and with the shadows that are my least favorite. So you can see sort of the things that I love and the things that I don't love. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now.